welcome to this tutorial by filmsbychris.com. I'm Chris, Chris with a K, and I hope you're having a good day. Today I'm going to be looking at multiple ways of killing processes. Um, so, by by their name. Obviously, if you have uh, their process uh, ID, you can kill that ID by using the kill command. Um, if you've never been to it, commandlinefoo.com is a... Uh, great place just to see how different people do different things and there's always multiple ways to do different things and um, different things especially when it comes to coding uh, I actually have this on my RSS feed and so I'm constantly getting little commands that people have written out and there's always you know people can vote them up vote them down and uh, also comment with alternatives and I saw this the other day and I wasn't thrilled with either of these options I, they work and you know if they work they work but I think that we can have uh, better simpler solutions uh, so I'm going to show you uh, three tools that exist that do this much shorter but I'm, I'm assuming that if they're um, doing this this way they're assuming that they don't have these tools otherwise they wouldn't be writing out these commands there's two of them uh, one down here with a for loop which is just unneeded uh, and there's another one up here with uh, uh, xargs to kill it but I think it can be shorter because uh, there's a lot of uh, grepping here that does need to be done. If you watch our previous video on grep, you'll see what we're going to do here in a moment. But first, let's go over tools that you probably have on most Linux systems that you can use that either run in one command or two commands to kill things. So first thing we need to do is have a process to kill. So let me come over here. Uh, so we, we've seen up here uh, the commands that I saw. Now we're going to get rid of that. And over here I'm going to type in sleep and I'll just sleep for 10 minutes. Ooh, okay, uh, so what I'm going to do is kill that process. Uh, so there's two ways I can do this. I can find find the process ID of that and type the kill and type the process ID. But let's say you have multiple sleep. And that was kind of the point of that you wanted to kill all, in this case, sleep commands that might be running. Uh, the kill all command, which I know is not on, it's on most systems. It's not on maybe, you know, a lighter weight if you're running on a router or something small like that. But most desktop systems, I'm pretty sure it comes pre-installed. Don't want to do SSH. I want to do sleep. Uh, kill all sleep, and it will kill all sleep processes. If I go back over here, I can actually run two sleep processes uh, together. So they're both running, and I can type in uh, kill all sleep, and it will kill both those processes. Let's go back over here and run those processes again. Notice you're getting new uh, process IDs each time. Another command, if you don't have the kill all command, a common command is pkill for process kill. And again, we'll do sleep and it kills both those processes. Uh, another option would be if we come over here, run both those processes again, I can do pid of and type in sleep and it'll give me the process IDs. Each process ID of uh, the sleep command. So again, uh, kill command, which is on every system as far as I know, if you go kill and give it the process ID, boom, it will kill that process. And if I give it the other process ID, it will kill the other process. Let's start those up again. Uh, but we want to have it to where it kills all of them in one swoop. So what we'll do is we'll do uh, the PID of sleep like that, but then we will pipe that into xargs. Xargs will let you run basically the output of one command uh, and basically break it up and put it into multiple commands. In this case, we'll just say kill. So basically, it's passing it both the process IDs, this ID and this ID, and the Xargs is going to run each of those through the kill command. So that would be, uh, I'm pretty sure PID and Xargs are, are very, very common, more common than these two, which are, are these two, which are fairly common. Now, again, let's say you don't have any of those uh, three commands, PID of, uh, P kill, or a kill all, which I'm sure you probably do on your system. But let's say you didn't. Let's, uh, let's look again at this command here. Uh, they're doing the PS uh, AUX to get a list of all processes. Then they're grepping for SSH. And then they're using a vgrep to ungrep the one that has the grep line, which if you watch our previous video, and I'll touch on that in a moment, and then it's doing that for SSHD so that it doesn't kill any SSSD commands because you might want to kill your connections to another server, but you don't want to kill your server. So that's what they're doing there. And then they're cutting that with awk and then running that into xargs. Okay, so let's go ahead and uh, look at that command. So 
I mean, let's look at our version of that. That's going to be a little bit shorter. So real quick, let's just um, kill that and split the screen this way just to make it easier to read. We'll clear this up and we'll start up our sleep commands again. Sleep for 10 minutes and sleep for five minutes just so we can see the difference. They're both running. Oops, and there we go. Uh, so I can do PSAUX grep sleep. And that will give me my two sleep commands and my grep command, which killing that isn't, that, that would work. We could actually do that, but you don't want to run, you don't want to get any error outputs because it's trying to kill a grep command that's no longer running by the time it hits it. So what we can do, they, what they did was they grepped vgrep, which means reverse and grep. So now you're ungrepping anything that has grep in it. We don't need to do that if you watch my last tutorial. What we can do is just do our regular expression here, which now changes our grep command so it doesn't have the word sleep in it anymore, so it doesn't find itself, and all we get is our sleep commands. Uh, at this point, we can then pipe it into awk, and we can say get just the um, second line here, which has the PID, the process ID. So now we have the process IDs, and uh, in my notes, I, I use TR after this because uh, I think X args, it has to be all on one line. Let's, let's see if I do X, uh, X args kill, I think it only killed one of our two processes. Oh no, maybe it killed both of them. So maybe I don't need the, uh, the extra command I had in there. Yeah, that works. I had an extra command in there to actually put all those on one line, uh, but it seems like I don't need that. So this is, in my opinion, uh, better than this, because it's shorter. Uh, their kill command has dash nine, which means kill it, uh, just, just kill it no matter what. Where if you just use kill, uh, depending on the, the process and what it's doing, it may not kill it. If you do dash nine, it is gonna kill it dead regardless of what type of process it is. Uh, so it's up to you whether you put that in there or not. It could be dangerous depending on what you're doing. Um, so a little bit shorter here. We, we eliminated these two grips. Now, uh, if you are doing the SSH, you probably do want to um, do something with the D, but you could probably uh, put the brackets, use the regular expressions uh, around no, I don't know. Yeah, if you're doing SSH, you might still want this command in there. Although you can use that probably in one grep command. I could probably improve on that a little bit more for the case with the SSH, since you don't want to kill uh, the service running. Uh, but yeah, forget about that. Mine still cuts out uh, an extra grep command there, so I thought I'd bring it up. But we looked at four different ways to kill processes. Uh, we can use the kill all command and give it the process name. We can do pkill and the process name. We can do uh, PID of the process name and then pipe that into uh, xargs. Or if you don't have any of those commands, you can use this PS, AUX, grep, awk, and xarg. So you're running four different commands and actually five for the kill and you're running it more than once. But it's definitely a shorter way of doing it if you don't have those other tools available to you. Anyway, just different ways of doing the same thing. Thanks for watching. Uh, please visit filmsbychris.com. That's Chris the K. Check out the links in the description. If you uh, enjoyed this, give it a thumbs up. And if you have another way of doing it, comment below. Let, let us see what you can do. Thanks and have a great day.